MJF fans, I got some bad news for you in this video. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm talking about because AEW has been under fire from the haters and fans are looking for some kind of positivity to come out of this promotion. And MJF, of course, he has been on the sidelines for quite some time, since December. And it got me thinking, the recent news that came out regarding him, that there there, there's more bad news coming AEW's way. It's not good news. It, it's bad news because MJF was a bright star in AEW in 2023. He was a megastar in AEW in 2023. Him and the Adam Cole storyline, well, it took the promotion by storm. And I think it really, it hid a lot of the negativities in which AEW was dealing with in 2023 because 2023 was the year where they were they were slowly but surely going on the decline. But with the return of CM Punk and the Elite and the rise of MJF as the World Heavyweight Champion, it was masked. It was hidden. CM Punk, yeah, he took a lot of the distraction away from the problems in which AEW was facing and the questionable booking decisions, I would say, in AEW. But MJF, as World Heavyweight Champion, he went from a hated heel to a lovable babyface and a large part of that is due to his storyline with Adam Cole where they went from rivals challenging wrestling competing over the AEW World Heavyweight title to becoming best friends becoming the ROH Tag Team Champions to the point where they were doing a pre-show match at All In last year in Wembley Stadium and then headlining said show for the AEW World Heavyweight title. Unfortunately, though, along the way, Adam Cole, he suffered a serious injury that resulted in him undergoing two major surgeries. And then, at the end of 2023, they did that weird devil angle where we don't know who was going after those surrounding MJF. And then World's End came, December of 2023, where AEW... They did a major championship change. They had Samoa Joe go over MJF and win the World Heavyweight title, only for Adam Cole to be revealed as the devil. Now, unfortunately, though, MJF, well, he is on the sidelines, and he's going to be on the sidelines for quite some time, because as we all know, it was reported over the weekend that MJF, although he has stayed quiet about his injury status after working World's End with a torn labrum and a hip injury, he knew going out of that show that he was going to need surgery or some serious rehab. And even though he tried to put off surgery as much as possible because he knew he would be sidelined up to close to a year, it was decided that he would get the surgery. And so he got the surgery. He got his shoulder fixed, and there was no exact timetable for his return. Now, Russell Purist. They have reported that MJF was originally aiming to make his big return in March of 2024 and even met with AEW Press Tony Khan in Boston to discuss creative plans. Things changed. So we know that MJF is on the sidelines with the injury, with the surgery, and it's going to be a big hit, but it got me thinking, that's not the bad news in the big grand scheme of things. It's bad news because MJF's going to be out for close to a year. That's that's the belief. It's bad news that AEW's going to be without him. Sure. He's an exceptional talker. One of the best in the pro wrestling game today. He's one of their best in-ring workers today. He's an old-school heel. He's an old-school baby face. He works the crowd very, very well. In a promotion in which is known for their flips and dives and wacky booking. MJ is a throwback. And that's what he brings to AEW. That's what CM Punk brought to AEW. That is what Samoa Joe brings to AEW and Adam Copeland and Christian Cage and Brian Danielson and Will Ospreay and Chris Jericho and I can go down the list. What it got me thinking is the silver bullet that AEW was hoping it's not coming. And in a year in 2024 where AEW is looking to secure TV rights deals with Warner Bros. Discovery, they're trying to map out their next television rights deal ahead of their current deal expiring at the end of this year, it's a problem. It's a problem because AEW is on the decline both in attendance 
ticket sales, interest, and television ratings. And when you're trying to get more money out of a TV partner, yet your product is cold and it's going downhill, that doesn't spell well for them, all right? Now, that's not to say that AEW is dying. That doesn't say that AEW is going out of business, but it is at least acknowledging the fact that despite the fact that they've signed Okada, Monet, and Will Ospreay, and they have a really over babyface and Swerve Strickland as your World Heavyweight Champion, things don't look great for them, okay? The, things can still turn around, but I think in a lot of ways, just like myself, Everyone saw MJF as the guy, okay, business was hot, business was, was cooking right along with MJF as a World Heavyweight Champion, and okay, we just got to hold out until he comes back, and once he comes back, then business will kick back up again, and all will be well within the world. Unfortunately, though, MJF, he's not coming back. Unfortunately, MJF is not coming back for a very long time. So what do you do in the meantime? That is the big decision. That is something that Tony Khan is going to have to decide. That is something in which the fan base is going to either like or they're not going to like. I mean, right now we're going through this whole elite attacking Tony Khan angle where he's, you know, selling his neck and he's got a neck brace and they brought back Jack Perry finally. And that stupid idea of airing the all-in footage. There's a lot going on with AEW. And I think they can write the course, but I also think it's going to be an uphill swing for them. Uphill stream for AEW. An up swing stream for Tony Khan. And they're going to do it without one of their biggest stars in the promotion. If I was them, yeah, I would be a little bit worried. But fortunately, though, AEW, Tony Khan... They have one of the most stacked AEW rosters ever in the history of the promotion. In fact, they have one of the most stacked rosters that I've ever seen in pro wrestling. Arguably one of the most stacked rosters in pro wrestling history. And so if they're ever going to bring it back, if they're ever going to swing back, if they're ever going to pull the ship up without MJF, well, now would be the time. The positive news for me, the positive news for AEW fans, is that they have their backs up against the wall. They have to fight out of that corner. They have to. Or they're not going to get what they want. They're not going to go out of business, They, but they won't get what they want. Let me know down in the comments here below, what do you think about this situation? Do you agree with me about MJF? Do you agree with me about the impact on AEW or not? Let me know down in the comments area below.